In this video we will learn how to use an HDR picture um, as a background picture for your 3D Studio Max scene. The first thing you have to do, you have to look for your white background picture. You can do it with a panorama camera. Uh, I just downloaded some pictures uh, from the internet. Very important, they have to be uh, high resolution, so they have to be big enough for your scene. For example, like a picture of 2000 by 600 pixel would be fine. It could be even bigger. So what you can see right now here is my little collection of my panorama pictures. Okay, these are my pictures uh, just as an example. The best thing is uh, that you do your own uh, panorama picture with your uh, digital camera. If you have my workspace installed, you just go into open and you just open the scene DE preset daylight. Uh, and uh, if you open it, you change the camera see and go to RAW01 uh, so you have a view of, uh, to the outside. If you uh, haven't installed my workspace you can just download it from my internet page design strategies. Uh, if I now go into uh, exposure control I just want to exchange the mental way physical sky uh, background. I just click on this and you see that this window mat material web browser will open. I just double click on bitmap I just go into my desktop and here I have my panorama pictures. I just take this picture, I open it and the next thing I do, I just open my uh, material editor. I'm by the way in the compact uh, material editor view and I just drag and drop this from my environment and effects uh, window into my material editor window as an instance. Here we go. And just because it was uh, a panorama, uh, panoramic picture, spherical environment is fine, environment is fine, but I don't like this um, uh, centimeters, this use real world scale. What I do is just go into text, I switch use real world scale off, and now I go again into uh, environment map, and that's a much better way for, uh, for my environment to work with because now I can move it in the U and in the V direction and we just want to see what this looks like uh, right now. I'm again in my environment and effects menu. I just go into render preview. And this already looks quite, uh, quite well. And if I now go into my uh, render, render settings and uh, just do my first uh, visualizations. Then you can already see the, through the window my, uh, my background image. You can also see that it reflects on this um, mirror sphere. And uh, we just want to now learn the different kind of settings, how you can move this up and down or probably how you can uh, uh, select uh, a different kind of, uh, uh, kind of view. Okay, this is uh, what my panorama looks like um, as, uh, as a, a bitmap picture again. And I just uh, changed the horizontal position. In the U direction, I just changed it from, to, from 0, 0.0 to 0, 0.3 to 0, 0.6 and to 0, 0.9 and then at the end of the day to uh, uh, 1.0. And uh, this is the result. Uh, this is the position 0, 0.0. This is the position 0, 0.3. This is the position 0, 0.6. By the way, that's the same. Uh, this is the position 0, 0.9. And not a surprise, this is the position 1.0. So it's the same position like 0, 0.0. So between 0, 0.0 and 1.0, I just uh, uh, turn it around in the U direction uh, around uh, 360 degrees. In the next examples, I just moved it um, up in a vertical way. I just uh, had values from uh, 0 0.1 to 0 0.3. This is 0 0.0. Uh, this one is minus uh, 0 0.1 and this one is minus 0 0.3. And of course, if you uh, put a positive uh, while you're into that inside the redirection, then you just see uh, the floor of, uh, of, your, uh, of your picture. You can also adjust the color map of your picture. I just double click on my map, 
So I have it a little bit uh, bigger. And I just go into this Polymer output. I uh, go into Enable Color Map. And here you can see that I can um, adjust the color quality. And I can also um, add points and uh, move these points. A little bit like Photoshop or any other uh, picture editing program. And uh, that's a way of uh, how you uh, how you find the right uh, setting for your uh, for your 3D scene? You see what it looks like in my visualization. Okay, these are some other examples. You always have to see that you combine a daylight scene with a, uh, a daylight picture. And for example, this is a, a night scene. It first looked uh, like this. And I didn't like that the city is so close. And what I actually did, I just changed my tiling from 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 in U and B direction. And uh, then this is what it looks like. Thanks for watching.